this year the Couture Waters Regional Land Trust has tried to introduce people to the unique characteristics of northern Wisconsin. Um, the trust had a tour of Grindstone Springs and a small spring pond and not far from Grindstone Springs we in mid-July put a couple of canoes and a couple of kayaks into Grindstone Lake and then wound our way into Little Grindstone Lake and then into Couture Lake. Uh, our land trust is really concerned about preserving the land around it, letting people use their land and enjoy it the way they want, but at the same time keeping the features that are so valuable uh, to all of us in this area. As you look at this video, um, we've just come through a small channel between Big Grindstone and Little Grindstone, what some people call Mud Lake, and the clarity of the water, the fish, and just the paddling opportunities that everybody got, from the old couple that you saw to the younger people that you'll see in this video. Uh, wonderful body of water, uh, wonderful body of clear water. If you think about it, Sawyer County between Couture and Grindstone, there's over 8,000 acres of water right there. And so this little paddle tries to demonstrate those things as we go through and we hope to do that. As a land trust, we hope to allow people to keep their land and at the same time keep it in the state that they would like it, keep it uh, uh, undeveloped and give them some kind of tax advantages as we go through in that. Uh, what you're seeing here is Grindstone Creek just before it enters uh, Big La Corte Riles, or LCO, and that uh, beautiful Tamarack Swamp. Uh, this land has already been preserved through, uh, through the state and through uh, the LCO tribe, and it just as an excellent example of all the wonderful things that exist here. Right now we're entering La Corte Riles or what a lot of people call Couture Lake or Big LCO and it's a tremendous body of water that has a fetch or the distance that the waves can travel of at least eight miles. It deterred our paddle a little bit. The waves grow up very, very quickly during the middle of a summer day. As you can see, it's bouncing around. Um, this lake has several places that are in land trust and several more places that are planning to put their land in trust that the trust is working with right now. The idea of a trust is people can live on their la land, people can build places on their land, but you also keep a characteristic of the past on that land. There are limits on what you can do on that land, no matter who lives on that land. Grindstone Creek, uh, Couture Lake, Grindstone Lake all have a tremendous history dating back to people's coming here in the 1400s and before and dating back to when the Europeans crossed this and blended their culture with the culture that was already here. This was part of a historic route for everybody uh, connecting the Nemecoggin River Valley to the Mississippi River Valley as you could take the portage from the Nemecoggin Lake to Wendigo Lake and then portage at least another mile into Grindstone and then wind your way down the Couture River into the Chippewa River. It's a beautiful area and is something that we're extremely involved in in this lake and in other lakes in helping to preserve the landscape. <laughs> 